Good evening, morning, day, whatever it is for you, wherever in the world you may be as I am recording this video. This is your boy, Dark Lord Torgon, coming at you with a new video today. And whoo, we got a humdinger of a season for you here. Season eight, it's my eighth season. We went back and decided to go to the dark side. Uh, playing evil in the War of the Ring campaign. And if you're not totally familiar with this campaign, it's different from every other campaign in the game. Uh, in this campaign, there is no politics. There's no united faction. It's just straight up light versus dark. You only can fight good if you're evil, and you can only fight evil if you're good. And there is betraying, but you can only betray the people that are in the same faction as you, but that aren't in the same warband or fellowship as you. Um, so those are a couple of interesting things that I've learned this season. Um, I'm playing as Rune, as you can see, and oh man, it's been it's been a crazy season. Let me show you the map. Um, we're doing pretty good, I would say, right now. We took us Gilliath. Not even 24 hours ago, uh, the Dead Marshes have been cleared. We own the Argonath. They can't break through there. And we're holding M and Wheel. They can't really attack Argonath without that. And so all the fighting is at M at this point. And it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot up here. Uh, <laughs> it's a good time. And uh, I've re relocated up here. We got the dwarves coming from Brownlands. And we got everyone else coming from everywhere else. Um, it's been nuts. And uh, we're steadily making progress. They've got war right now. Uh, at least the team called Cast does. The other teams, uh, fellowships I should say... Uh, are on cooldown. Their war expired not too long ago. Five, six hours, maybe. Something like that. Um, and it's still a long cooldown at this point. 48 hour cooldown. So, not going to have to deal with their war for a while. And we're just holding off Emin. Frodo, where is he at right now? He has departed Lothlorien. He's traveling down the river. Right now he's actually... Uh, resting at some crossing he's just chilling out there but um they're making their way to, to argonath and once they reach argonath it's gonna get really hard for the good side um the bots are gonna activate and start actually doing stuff and that's going to really wreak uh reap havoc for the good side and we're holding our own it's basically two two point five ish warbands versus like two full active fellowships and then i would say there's a third active fellowship but they just really suck bad well let me show you i'll, I'll go we'll do it like this We'll go to the rankings. I'll show you the warband production. So I'm in uh, Mesh in Melkor Shadows. I swapped over from Dark a little bit uh, a couple days ago. It's been a good change. Um, this team is a little bit more active and follows direction really, really well. And I appreciate them in every way. Um, and then some has been holding down the top spot for a little bit. And Cast and Wreck. Cast is definitely um, better than Wreck. They're both, you know, okay teams. Uh, Legion, completely terrible. Mary has a couple of decent players on it. I don't ever even really see Phoenix or Dead. Uh, I don't know what Searle's doing. There might be out west hanging out. But pretty much everything else below this is, is just a bunch of garbage, except for ANGL that has a couple of Mega Krakens um, hanging out there. But um, by and large, the season has been really fun i think this season in terms of like as it is is as balanced as it can be in a war of the ring campaign because the good side definitely outnumbers the evil side but 
Um, we have more whales than they do. And I think our coordination and our decision making has been fundamentally more sound. What does that mean? What do I mean? Well, we took Osgiliath, and while we were taking Osgiliath, these dwarves that are over here attacking decided they were going to go and attack Dorwinian. And they lost to our third fellowship uh, warband, Dark, who has like maybe 25 to 30 active players at this point. So that just really tells you how bad they are. They're really good at sieging empty keeps. They took this empty keep here. Um, if there's no resistance whatsoever from a player, they can do stuff. But um, they're hilariously bad at fighting PvP. And I'm grateful for it because if they um, were worth more than a bag of chips, we'd be in real trouble. But such as it is, um, we basically just slaughter them and... We're holding our own. If we make it through Emin Wheel here, um, by the time Cast's War expires in 20 and a half hours, then we're going to be in really, really good shape. Frodo's going to come down the river. He's going to get hit. He's going to get stuck at the Argonath and just be hanging out in, in the Emin Wheel and, and Argonath for probably forever. Um, if they don't take it this war cycle, uh, I don't think they will be able to take it. We're, we'll probably go and start working on taking one of these other lands. And the farther that we push out, push out from the dead marshes, I mean, it's really hard for them to do anything. Um, there's a little bit of some stuff going on back here, but by and large, um, Minas Tirith is on lockdown. There ain't shit going on there. I'm surprised they have this much happening there. Um, the entire island here is in lockdown. We can't really take it right now because there's an event that's going to happen and then these fortresses are going to open up. When those fortresses open up, we can hit them and we can destroy them. And once we destroy them, we can siege Minas Tirith and take that. And um, you can see there it says special phase cannot occupy. So we can't do anything with that right now. But we've taken that. We've taken Osgiliath. The entire area is totally secure. Um... And because of that, good side is really having a bad, uh, having a hard time. Um, we've cleared them really out of pretty much everything. So I don't foresee Frodo making it to the Black Gate this season. Um, if he does, it's because they succeed in taking M.M. Wheel during this currently active war cycle. There is no red tiles anywhere in Athelion. It's for for being on the, my side, this is a beautiful thing. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful because I'm going to tell you what we've done this season has not came easily. Um, the good side players, while they might not have as many whales as we do, they certainly have more players and more activity and a bunch of tile takers, and they use them. Um, we've had to work really, really hard to secure everything that we've secured here throughout the Dead Marshes and everywhere on the map. It's, it's been a struggle, uh, and I'll tell you why. I'll walk you through some of it. Um, probably most of you who are watching this already know this, but, I mean, good side has a very distinct early season advantage. They can level their commanders really fast. We were fighting level 50 Gilgalads like a week ago, and we only, today is we're going on Tuesday, and the season started on a Friday, two weeks ago. So we're in our third week of the season. And I'm talking about fighting level 50 Gilgalads a week ago. And a week ago, they were really difficult to deal with. But now, a week later, we're catching up. Our buildings have caught up. We've got tier 4 units unlocked. And we're bringing the fight to them. Looks like this cluster is activated here. That's a good time. 
So it's all out warfare here at MM Wheel. And honestly, I couldn't be happier about it. I think it's wonderful. Um, the season has been really fun. It's fun playing the evil side. It's different. There's no bullshit politics dictating the outcome of the season. It's just straight up military tactics, coordination, farming, conscripting, leveling, you, you know, prioritizing wisely, making smart choices, executing on those choices. The good side has made some not so good choices. For example, they had four teams attack this all at once and fail. And that is why that was really the beginning of our success. They thought they could just bulldoze through this and they were wrong. I don't know what this guy thinks he is doing. He must be high on drugs. But um, it's been entertaining, and I'm really enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to seeing, um, you know, the outcome of this season. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, it'll continue to get it good. The bots are going to get activated soon, and Frodo is going to be reaching us soon, and we've got just a ton of these t scouting towers around. I hope Frodo comes and checks out Samwise's left pistachio. Who doesn't love a good pistachio? And I'll leave you with this, which is my wonderful, dazzling agate, agati, agate, whatever you want to say, hexagram thingy. Cool fireworks. I like the animation. And I'll peruse my recent fight list so you can take in some of the fun that I've been having. Um, destroyed this A2 earlier, and it's not a, really a bad A2 in terms of the gear, but he doesn't have a point in Sun and Moon Splendor, so I guess he didn't want to not get stunned by or or orcs and Urukai, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, that is just taking a tile and starting a fort. Uh, that was just a bunch of empty armies here. But then you start looking at these. This was a pretty good fight, all things considered. Open up. And I took, I mean, he's under leveled, but I absolutely massacred him. Again, the pretty you know okay gear. It's not maxed out, but it's got it's the right kind of gear that I would want to see on him. Of course, that fire resistance isn't going to help very much versus my evil men units. And I'm just basically bulldozing through these guys with Khaldun and chariots, and it's just been absolutely hysterical. And these are not bad. Like, this guy's got a three-star wizard pipe. Who uses Gandalf's wizard pipe? It's such a junk unique, in my opinion. Um, but, I mean, all in all, this gear is not bad. He's got the skills set up, you know, pretty much probably the same way that I would. Um, although, I'm curious. Yeah, he did outheal me. <laughs> uh, and then there's this one... Although that wasn't a full unit, but I still completely massacred him. Pretty decent gear. Just being a terrorist for these guys. I'm just terrorizing them. All day long. And I will continue to do so for a while <laughs> anyway one more round of fireworks for you my friends i saved the best for last cheers to all of you 
Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment. Let me know your feedback, thoughts, suggestions, anything at all. Always happy to hear from you. Also, feel free to reach out to me either in the game or on Discord if we're friends. We'll do another video in another day or so here. Maybe I'll try to see if I can record some live action. Um... Because there's been a lot of it. <laughs> All right. Take care, my friends. Stay well. Cheers.